Hey guys, this is Dinosaur Drawer, and this is part 3 of how to draw the male Jurassic Park 3 Velociraptor. Okay, so we're gonna put a little bit more detail into it, a little bit more shadow over here. <coughs> and there's a line going like this, going up like this touching the stripe and there's a line going like this and this line kind of continues on for the rest of the tail sometimes it's very hard for me to draw small little details um, in a drawing like this because my eyes aren't really <laughs> Uh, really good. I don't have glasses or anything. I didn't really go uh, to test it, but I can tell that my eyes are not very good. There's a line over here, and um, yeah, that makes it really hard for me to get the really small details into place. And then there's also a line coming from over here, doing exactly the same as our first line. But be careful that you don't go over that line, the stripe. This line kind of stops around here. Alright, so now let's get these kind of very small lines into place. Those are actually uh, lines that will kind of make the scales of the dinosaur do the same thing over here but go from a different direction and it's better to use a finer point for this alright and then put in the kind of shadow you need this line very dark as well and this line also and also this line should be very dark should be a lot of shadow on this side and there should be a lot of shadow over here alright and now he has a couple of kind of something like this going on over here Put a bit detail over it and also you can try and get those kind of oh all right so right now I went over the stripe a little so I'm trying to erase it it's working quite well for me right now let's say I'm lucky so I need to remember, don't go over the stripe. And do the same thing over here. And this might take a while, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna skip to the part where I'm done with this part. Well, well done putting those lines in.
okay that's done and I discovered that this part is actually supposed to be very light so I'm trying to put these lines in very lightly don't make it too dark and over here just can just make it go on for like something like this and now I want to get a little bit of shadow beneath it, this part beneath this line make it look a little bit more realistic Also a little bit of shadow underneath over here. something like that should be good alright and now I'm going to make this part a little darker as well just to get that realistic feel This should be about fine. Now we can start putting in some little scales. So I'm just going to put them over his entire belly. Don't press down too hard on your pencil on this part. So yeah, I'll uh, skip to the part where I'm done. Okay, and now we can put back a little bit of shadow. Maybe a couple of skills over here as well. So this is just kind of an experiment because the reference photo does not have uh, the scales and stuff. But I thought it might really look pretty cool. So right now we're going to put in the same kind of scales over here. And again, don't forget, you can't go over your stripes. And maybe uh, over here there isn't a lot of detail, so what we could do is put some skills over here as well.
and then go over those lines that are supposed to be there so that you can still clearly see them and also make those uh, kind of wrinkles and rimples and stuff a little darker as well only on the bottom it will really create a realistic kind of look to it and darken the back part of his jawline a little and we could also just put a little bit of tone over this part because it's a little bit too wide in my opinion alright this is starting to, to get along very well And again, darken those, those lines that are supposed to be there. Because you're supposed to be able to see those. And put some, some darker skills on this part, because this is a really dark spot. And if you don't make them dark enough, you can't really see them. And let's just get a little bit more shape into this because it's very white or very let's just get a few rips in it Well, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, I accidentally pulled my pencil. Uh, I broke my pencil, but I can fix it. Okay, I fixed it. I'm just trying to get a little bit of highlight between it, but it's not really doing too much. Alright, I'm just going to keep it like this and let's hope that it doesn't really appeal too much. So let's get a few skills on his back as well and a few skills over here. So I'm just putting them in along the, the kind of stripe. And I'm trying to put them in over here as well. Trying to make this look a little better as well. Alright, and so later on, when we've done everything, we can still go back and put a little bit more detail into this stripe. But that's something that we could do later on. So now we want to focus a little bit more 
on his tail. And I don't know why, but I almost always draw a leg in as lost. It's almost always the last thing I do. And you should put some lines in at the top of his tail. So I'll be back when I did that. Okay, that's done. And now also as well over here, but don't go over the line, the, the stripe, I mean. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. And we're not going to put in all the scales and stuff over here. We could put in, try and put in a few and just keep some some space between them. So you really get this kind of look like uh, there's a lot of detail in it. Well, there is a lot of detail in it, but it's still not completely. Uh, there aren't scales everywhere. Right now I'm using my own kind of technique to get those little uh, kind of skilled looking lines into it. And do the same over here. Maybe we should make this line a little bit darker. I believe it, it still wasn't dark enough. And then we can put down a little bit of skills down there. A couple of them. of them over there as well and this tribe is supposed to be a little bit thinner over here so we can Go in and adjust that a little. Put in a few skills over here as well. And over here as well. So now it should look something like this. Yeah, it should look something like this. Alright, so now we need to put in the muscles into his leg. And I'm going to use this other mechanical pencil for it again because this one is a little bit uh, the point is a little bit thicker and it's better to sketch with so this muscle goes something like this it stops over here gets very thin over here then it goes something like this and then there's a line going from there to here. Also a muscle. A line from the knee kind of going like this. And then something like this happening over here. And this is also going to be a very big muscle. Kind of goes until over there. And then this one goes also until over there. 
and then there's a huge muscle over here and then there are some lines kind of going like this and there's a very thick line over here or something like this and a line over here which stops about over here and then you can kind of see a claw from the other side still and this is supposed to go a little bit like this and then like this so yeah this is the basic structure of all the muscles now we have to put some tone and shadow in it so we're just going to use the same kind of technique that I use in every single drawing and by the way the reason why I started using this much skills and stuff it's because I'm really trying to experiment with some uh, different things and trying to uh, get good at different kind of drawings and I'm really trying to improve my uh, my art a little so right now it might look really really terrible with all these skills in the middle but for now at least I know that the way that I used to do uh, <clears throat> the ribs is not a really good way for this kind of drawing like because it just doesn't work the same way so I have to experiment with that and get better at it eventually and then these lines kind of go like this kind of a line over there same thing over here and there's supposed to be a lot of shadow over here as well and also over here So just press down harder and harder on your pencil until you get the right tone. And over here it goes something almost the same, the same kind of style. And then just try to do that on the whole foot. But first I want to get a bit more detail into this. And the legs of the dinosaurs are really one of the lightest parts on your drawing. Because there's a lot of light that can catch on that leg. So this is supposed to be a little bit darker. Because right now it's really just too dark. I'm just going to do the same kind of thing but with a little bit more care and, and uh, caution because I'm trying to get every single line at the right spot so something like this and then you can do the same thing but kind of go through it with these kind of lines to create something like uh, a little bit of detail and this part is also supposed to be very dark and get these lines into place as well
kind of extend them to the rest of the body. And I want this part to be a little bit darker because it's a little bit too too light still. Alright, that looks pretty good. Um, put in a line for his knee over here. And over here, and there's going to be a lot of shadow over there. Try to get the knee into the same kind of tone as the rest of the drawing. And then just uh, do the same thing with all the muscles on your drawing. And this is really what a mechanical pencil really stands out. I mean, um, details like this is um, the reason why I sometimes use a mechanical pencil. You can really get some really nice detail into your drawing with just a mechanical pencil. Alright. A little bit of shadow over there, and also some shadow over here as well. Get some lines over there. And kind of try to get the, the right tone into it. and darken this section a little and also we should do this part as well it should be about alright okay and yeah, let's get a little bit of shadow on this part. So over here, what happens is this gets very dark almost instantly. And then these kind of lines go like this. And these lines kind of go like this. And then just connect these lines with thinner lines and try and get a little bit of, uh, try to get the tone right. And also over here, try to make it in the same kind of tone so it doesn't really stand out too much. And we should put in some really dark skills over here. like this, a few over there, and darkening the claw over there. So alright, and we can always go back and make our shadow a little bit darker because I think this is supposed to be a little darker over here as well. And this is a little bit too much light still as well. Yeah, I believe this drawing turned out quite well. Let's see, 
now we can get some detail into the stripe kind of pattern and I want to make it a little bit thinner just a little bit I don't like how really thick it is at this moment and I'll put a little bit more texture into this it's really extremely thin right now it should be a little bit more like this and just put a couple of lines running through it here and there nothing really special but a little bit of detail in it but it still has to be clearly visible and make it slowly disappear on the tail alright, maybe a little bit more over here Okay, I want to darken in the claws a little bit. And this one as well. Let's just make it very dark. Erase small part of this and a small part of this okay all right I just quickly put in the shadow and now let's get my autograph Right, that's something that can happen. Let's see. All right. Let's see. Okay. 